in today's video we will restore database using cold file system backup so when it is applicable and what are the conditions so the first condition is db must be in down state source db uh, you can say your uh, production database must be in down state and in this case we will copy uh, all the data files uh, parameter files uh, control files redo logs to the target server uh, or you can see the restoration server where we would uh, restore the database now very important what files need to be backed up so first thing I want to clear that in target uh, server Oracle binary you need to install first so in this scenario I have already installed Oracle binaries in my uh, target server so now first we need to copy the data files and control files redo logs and parameter files you can also copy your uh, TNS file uh, sequinet file listener.ora file also but it is as per your comfort if you want to then you can do the same also so what are the steps so first as you all know first we will down the prod server then we copy the files to target server now we will start the target tv server right so as you see that in this case downtime is required and most of the case uh, this uh, restoration uh, we don't use in production environment because you don't get uh, downtime for this activity so we use uh, database restoration using hot file system backup so it will be the topic for the next video so leave it uh, currently we will do the same using cold system backup so what we need to note that always try to keep the structure in target or restoration server identical to production or source server what does it mean it means that suppose your data files in production are in abc or a data folder right and you need to ensure that in your target the folder structure is also same it is not mandatory but uh, to save the time because suppose the location is different in target there is not an issue you can uh, rename the location when you uh, in the mount stage so that is not an issue but uh, for uh, quick restoration or to save time we should ensure that file structure in production as well as the target server should uh, match okay so for this video my setup is my production database server is name is srv1 which is, uh, which is here and target server is srv2 which is here so first we will check that which files we need to back up so just log in into database First I will check the data files So these are the data files But I will go to this location
so here you can see my all data files control files so, uh, sorry uh, data files control files and all my redo loss temporary files are here okay and uh, to see where is my parameter file just run show parameter sp file so my sp file is at this location so i need these files to be backed up or to be copied to this server and after that we can start the target server so first as per our step we need to shut down the database do not shut about the database because because it will make a production database inconsistent and uh, uh, suppose you have aborted your database before copying the data file then please ensure that you must copy these redo logs ok so I will sh I'll shut immediate command ok so my database has been down let's check our secondary server check that software has been installed or not so you can see I have binary installed of 11.2 uh, same version as I have in source database server and my our structures are all also same so I will check whether it has the files or not so there is no parameter file that is good I will copy the all and I will check the data files ok so you can see in our target server we don't have any data files and parameter files so now I will copy since our production database is down now we can proceed for code backup so I will just SAP from this server to this server. You can use WinSAP also, but I prefer SAP. So currently, I am in this one, so I will use SAP dot SAP start dot DBF to copy all the DBF files. Now the format to copy in another server is the user through which it will connect to this secondary server at the rate the IP colon and the path where you want to copy so I want to copy directly to the data file location so just check it out SCP start or DBF target username target IP and target path okay fine it will ask the password just provide the password Here also you can see that file uh, has been started to copy here. Okay, so our DBF files has been copied. Now I will copy the redo logs SAP same you can use for redo ok our redo log has been copied now it's time for CTL control file So our data files, redo logs and control file has been copied. Now what is left? It is SP file. 
so what is the location of sp file that is go to that location check the sp file so here you see it is the sp file i will copy it to the target server's dbs location so scp since my structure is same so target will also have this location okay so my all files has been copied just check it out whether it is copied or not okay so here you can see my sp file is here and my data files are already been uh, has been copied earlier just cross check yes all files are now copied to my target server now i will start the database it is just easy because it is cold backup it is consistent backup you don't need any kind of recovery using archives you can just uh, as simple start up the database so here you can see my database has been started up fine so hope this video uh, helped you to understand the concept of <coughs> cold file system backup and when we should go with this backup or when we should consider hot backup so thank you